Okay, I realized uh, last night after I put this white on here that uh, when I go to laminate it, the air bubble would be kind of hard to see. And I wanted, not so much that I couldn't get them out, but I want to be able to make it so that they're easier to see. So I'm going to put some, I've got some scrap black that I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just basically put it on the back side of this. It won't be black on the part, but it'll be behind the uh, behind the white, and it'll allow me to see my air bubbles when I go to laminate the, the fiberglass. And just like on the big boats, um, the last thing we usually spray on is either a layer of black or, or actually any real dark color will work but just to keep it consistent do some black you see why you see why this is uh, this is old gel and it's uh, not as runny as it should be but it's perfect for what I'm doing Sasha girls out there barking at something. I don't need to cover it 100%. I just need to at least darken it up so it isn't so bright. system I could ever have. You might see some black when I take the part out of here, but it'll be where where the white either didn't cover or maybe thin. I can see there probably be some some brush strokes that you'll see, but that's the only black you'll see when I pull it off. Well, hopefully, I got enough. I 
could just hit all my lines on this one. I got enough paint up, I can mix up some more. mixed up some more just because I want to have plenty on here And you can't put this on until the first layer is dry, so I mean that you gotta wait around on that. I mean if you're spraying it and you're sure you've got the first color down one hundred percent, nothing wrong with it, then yeah, you could you could go ahead and spray the black on. Up on here, go ahead and since I've got a little more, I'll go ahead and add it to the side. Might as well go for neatness or somewhat neatness.
it's uh, it's on there a lot thicker than it would be if I made a if I was making a production part. But I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot of cutting and sanding and uh, things like that. That not so much, but this I'm going to kind of heavily rework. About all that will be left of that would be the bottom. Because then, because uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'm going to make the deck and uh, lay it out like I want and uh, make the part out of the hull and set it in there where I want and position it. And then where this gap is, and, and where the nose piece is missing, I'm going to go ahead and build a new side from here on to here, so that, uh, well, so there'll be a new side there, and it won't be shrunken in. And if you can see, they kind of, the sides kind of bow in. It's because the mold has, has shrank over the years, and, and the sides pulled in on it. And, uh, Anyway, I'm going to fix a lot of this stuff that's just been going on with it for 10 years. Anyway, i got to get cleaned up, get in here, get a shower, and go to bed. 2 a.m. comes early. i got to see what them dogs are after, too.